Most of the heavy lifting for you. I promise you can't mess this up, only I can, because I've only done this one time, believe it or not. And that's usually when Rory's out of town and he lets me have at it. So have a seat, we'll ride the ride, and then we'll get going, okay? So thanks for coming. This is January 2021. Sorry, 22, it's on 21 on our list here. Um, so we'll get started right into this. I know there's a lot of different moving parts in this class, right? A lot of puppy raised dogs here. This is a big deal because this class represents a huge chunk of our puppy program, right? We run short of puppies for Cindy, our puppy manager, and all our puppy raisers. And then we do a giant class like this with all puppy raised sure. dogs. And you see phenomenal behaviors. You see phenomenal warriors come through this program. They go home, change their life. And it's because somebody cared enough to do a lot of stuff on their end to help out our warriors. So without any further ado, I'm going to get going. Are you ready, Shane? All right, first up we have Frank and Rick. <laughs> Rick was sponsored by Mary Godwin. He was selected uh, as a French forward dog presented by Dogtopia Foundation in Dogtopia of Houston, Texas. Rick was donated by Sue Dyer, the owner of Juniper Southern Labradors in Coleman, Alabama. Sue donated eight puppies. She donated an entire litter of her dogs to us. And they were all raised by our wonderful puppy raisers. So, Rick was raised by Mitch and Aggie Block. Aggie, you want to say something? You want to come up here and tell us a little something about this? You can come behind the... You can come by here if you want, I'll just do it for you. First of all, we would like to thank you all for your service. The first question that people ask us is, how can you be a puppy raiser and give a dog back? There's your answer. It is the most wonderful, reasonable, volunteer program that we have been involved in. And in the morning, when I would take Rick for a walk, I would tell him each day that he was born to do wonderful things. And looking at him again today, I know what his face is. And it's very rewarding for both of us. Absolutely. 
Thank you guys for coming up and thank you for raising uh, Rick. The wind is blowing and I lost my page and now I have to start all over, so it's going to add time to it. Um, I don't think I missed anything on that, so we'll move on to the next. So next we have Harold in Cairo. Come on up here, sir. Cairo is a doctor that is glad to work with you. Cairo started his training originally in our Alabama prison program and then was returned to us, raised by Kevin McCarr. Cairo comes to us by way of the safe animal shelter in Northern Florida. More or less a game show this place for you. <laughs> Next up, we have Leo and Deputy. Another dog out of our puppy program. So Deputy was named in honor of fallen Nassau County, Florida Sheriff's Deputy Joshua Moyers. I believe his parents are here tonight, yeah? Right here along with Rhett, one of our co-workers. Uh, Deputy Morris gave his life in the service of his community uh, not long ago. He was survived by his fiance, parents, and a brother, and of course, Red, one of our family members here. So, it's the there's so much more that he has capable. Uh, the program that we're running now, and I've worked with dogs now for close to 30 years, but in different capacities. Um, anybody that you guys can get the word out to for that, uh, that can raise puppies and volunteer and do the work for them, get them, um, and it's, it's, it pays for so many different ways, uh, not only for the family that's raising them, but also for the warriors that have to deal with it as well. Um, I've been in, in the exact same situation you guys are in. Um, Afghanistan eight times, lost buddies. I worked dogs in Afghanistan. Puppy for us. All right, so next up we have Ken and Spirit. Of Juniper Southern Laboratories in Coleman, Alabama. Puppy raisers are Susan. How are you guys? Are you excited? Are you going to raise another dog? Maybe. We're 50 50, leaning towards 55% maybe? Okay. Next up we have Mike and Trixie. Trixie's sponsored by Tom and Marie Dolan, and they're funded through the uh, Lieutenant Dennis Zelensky Memorial Fund. Also selected as a Fetch It Forward dog, presented by the Dogtopia Foundation and Dogtopia of Madison West in Middleton, Wisconsin. So fun fact for you guys, we're trying to make this a little bit more personal for our warriors, right? And one thing that we've noticed is, specifically with Mike, he told us the other day, he has learned so much more patience being in this program, whereas you know, I'm a, I'm a veteran, I'm a member of this program, a graduate, and I became so much more patient than I ever used to be. And Mike is learning the same thing that I learned. Uh, and it's one of those wonderful things is to let things go a little bit, be a little bit more patient. The situation will develop and we'll be fine and move forward. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have puppy raisers, Jamie and Jim. Is it Misa, are we right here? Are, we, are you guys good? You gonna do another dog too? Maybe. Cindy, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up we got Pat and Finley. <laughs> so Finley's actually uh, sponsored with the help of one of our other graduates, Louis Bamamini, uh, who I spoke with on the phone the other day, and he's also uh, helped sponsor this through the University of Finley and the community of Finley, Ohio. Uh, Louis was actually featured in one of our documentaries called A New Leash on Life, The Canines for Warriors Story. I've seen that about a dozen and a half times. It's great, great film. Uh, and, and happy to, to even be able to, to spend a little bit of time with Louis and, and people like him. Uh, through his fundraising and screening of the events, Louis and the University of Finley were able to actually sponsor this dog. Puppy raised by Tony and Sherry, uh, and I can't even pronounce the last name, so I'm not even going to try. Uh, I'm sorry. Good, yep, yeah, there you go. That's it. Would you like to say something? No? I love You already have another one. How many is that now? Is that just two? or? Thank you very much. Again, uh, Finley was donated by Sudai. And there we go. 
Chicago, we have Stan and Store. Sponsored by Sherry and Sam Scott, Storm was selected as a first forward dog, presented by Dogtopia, and Dogtopia of wow, Pewaukee in Waukesha, Wisconsin. That's like Canadian. And if they brought the weather with them. Uh, Storm is a third dog sponsored by uh, Canines by the Scots, and, and they uh, brainstormed for a cool dog name and came up with uh, Storm. Uh, so, puppy raised by Deanna Fisher, who's sitting there taking notes. Are you going to come say something? You wrote a speech, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Come on up. So I was fortunate enough to be born into a puppy raised family, and um, my aunts have done it, okay, and my mom has done it, and when I found Canine for Warriors, I knew that this was the program for me. Um, I haven't served, but I appreciate all that you guys have done, and when people, like the first, family said, when people ask, how do you do this? How do you get this dog back after you spend so much time and love and training? This is it. You can't give a better gift to anybody. Um, these dogs are wonderful. And while I'd love to keep them all snuggled with me in my house, what Storm is going to do for Sam is incredible. And it's, it's a gift you can't find other than getting your hands involved and putting in the time and doing it over and over. So please go to the website and help. This is an incredible organization, whether it's donation, time, or the puppy snuggles and, and kisses that you get. It's totally wonderful. How many how many is this for you? Uh, I think this is my sister. Can I can wear all that I have? Six. Six working on number seven. You might be what we refer to as a crazy dog. But we love it. Yeah. We've done a couple of puppies at my house too as well for canines, and it is super rewarding, very hard, very challenging, uh, but it is absolutely worth it. So, guys, I promise it'll be quick. I'm sorry it's so cold, but it's Shane's fault, not mine. So, you guys are good to go. Congratulations, and welcome to the Brotherhood.